Welcome back to Sutra South Africa. I'm Nikki Nash as always. And today, you guys joined me at Ford South Africa. We're doing their Ford skills, something, something. So they're teaching us the ins and outs of literally what we just did now. Um, you do the slalom challenge sober, like without the glasses. And you do them drunk. There's glasses that imitate how you, you are when drunk. And trust me, there is a huge difference. So we just did that now. I did that. Um, yeah, don't drink and drive. You honestly, you won't see anything. Um, but yeah, we just did that. We're gonna do off-roading soon, and yeah, I'll document that as well. There's the Everest behind me that's doing it. And yeah, I hope you guys are liking the content from just South Africa. And then remember, because all four tires are working, it's a white turn. If you want to turn here, it turns there. Why what? Filmer followed. It turns very wide. The turning ratio is. So over the logs, just go over the logs, you not know, over here. And you just leave it in for you. Once we get to the top, I stop at the top. We put the hill descent control mm. so that uh, it can hold our speed when we go down. And once you get here, you can stop and then back near that hill descent. Okay, it's on. So basically from now on, okay, once I start moving, you'll be tempted to go for the brakes. Don't. Let's go break because it will lose surface. You understand? Once you start going well, it will tell longer break. So you let it go. Completely off the brakes. Completely off the brakes. But just let it do its thing. It won't run away from you. It won't run away from you. Once you at the bottom, then it's fine. Switch it off. Then we can proceed. Quite easy. Just let the vehicle do its thing. This truck is very easy for this car. <laughs> and then side slope. Right side slope. Obviously, you're going up. But always try to keep your head up. Ne? Don't lean because a lot of people, whenever they slide or the, the angle, it's a member. So, what do they do? So why won't? So don't lean with it. Keep your head up because you wanna look where you go, like look where you want to go, not where the car is taking you. Why won't? Then you can be able to follow the right angle, but not this angle that we have here. But still, nice, no problem there, no issues. And then get into the articulation. Yeah. And then check out the the reason why I said it's those ones, no? Mm. Can you see how deep they are those things? Yeah. And the problem is because he uh, uh, long wheel base. It's a long wheel base, no? Mm. If you go over that thing, because it's uh, it's like this at the top. Once you go up those tires, uh, no. the front tires once they go on the other side, it's gonna catch here mm. in the middle. Mm. Even yeah, but those small cars with okay. a chimney yeah. or whatever. Sure. Yeah, but for this car, look at yeah. the difference. Yeah. <laughs> and out. Once you just put in the diff lock and oh, always remember once you're done with the obstacle, ne, switch off the diff lock. Okay. Ne, diff lock is in your trans, you, you don't drive for extended periods of time. Mm -hmm. And then that's another one that we don't do, ne? I really that one, but uh, just for since you guys are here, then it's also a side slope. This one, Marie, the angle in way, the critical in your That's why I say Juni because. To the side, you must always try to steer into the ski. Why you don't get on? Okay, as I go a little bit higher. Why you don't get It's fighting for traction. Good. So now I'm always I'm trying to steer that side because you're never clear. No, no one. So that's one of the reasons why I say it's a yellow one. Because those tires are hey, they're getting a lot of punishment. Most of all in there. Why one? Because it is all guy in here. So yeah, so these are just the ones that we do in So I just completed the the full buffer track. Um yeah, you guys should be seeing overplay videos of me there. Um like I said, it's nothing new because I've driven the raptor before, I did take it off road. So this of course wasn't that challenging. Um, but it just goes to show how capable uh, the Raptor is. But I'm planning, if you guys want to see this, comment down below Ford, um, Ford SA. Um, I'm planning on reaching out to Ford and doing their off-road 
um, experience, level one experience. Um, so comment down below for they say, and then I'll request, and then yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys are liking the content. We are done with the drunk driving and off road thing now. What we're going to do, uh, I'm gonna go to the skid pad um, with the Eco Sport on the skid pad. So I, I believe we're gonna be doing the slalom challenge. The Mustang is also there, but I don't think we're gonna drive the Mustang. They don't tell us we're gonna drive them. But if we do drive them, you'll we'll see it here first. But otherwise, we'll keep it locked. I just went on the skid pad um, with the Eco Sports. Um, yeah, the Ford Eco Sports. It is a nice little peppy car. Um, it does handle the slalom challenge on the lane. Um, emergency lane change is quite good. So there it is. So this is four wheels. What's up, oh, you, my brother. Good in you. What's up? Oh, I'm so gonna switch over say. Yeah. So I'll put his link in the description <laughs> box below. So that's that's four wheels. Um, I had a competition um, during the week. Early in the week, I said, if you can guess which brand I'm working with on my next event, you will win a cap from the one that I get from the event. And big congratulations to Havo. You, you are the first person to guess it, right? Joss also guessed it, but Joss is cheating because Joss is right here. He's over. That's him. So he knew exactly what event I'm going to. So he he doesn't count. But big up to Havo. I did speak to him. So he's based in Rustenburg. So I will post it or something like that and send him this lovely cap um, from Switch Off. So I think I'm gonna do more of these. Um, so I think all the time I'm going to launch. Unless I, unless if I really want the cap, then I might not give the cap away. But if it was like Ford, I've been to a lot of Ford things. So this cap is Havo's brand new. Um, yeah. So big up to you, my brother. But back to the Eco Sports. Um, this whole challenge, uh, this, this whole experience basically, let me sum it up. It's a good experience, it teaches you what to do, what not to do in situations, handling more specific, uh, more especially. I mean, the Eco Sport four wheels is having fun. So, in the Eco Sport, it does teach you that uh, what it's capable of. One, we also did the anti the hijacking course, they teach you, they teach you what to do when you get hijacked what not to do we also went off-roading um, a bit of off-roading the, the raptor so yeah um i think that'll be it for today if there's anything more i will document it but other than that yeah i'm nikki nash from switch south africa and i hope you guys did like the content remember comment down below say ford south africa because i think i'm gonna ask them for a raptor so i can do their off-road challenge their off-road course level one because i haven't done that and i've had so many fords on test and i believe it's time i do that and then i document it so comment down below say for just comment forward so that it can be as like motivation a bit but yeah i hope you guys did like the content of from Sicha, south africa i'm signing out <laughs>